Just to the left. What's up YouTube? It's your boy, Shaka Antoine. And today's video is going to be the start of my uh, 2022 fall season. It's my first trip. Uh, finally just decided to uh, you know make some time, get out and fish. And I'm pretty much happy that I did. I was able to catch some fish. Uh, so that's what this video is basically going to be about. But first, before we go any further, I want to remind you guys to please continue to smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure it's on all so that you get notified when I come out with these videos. I greatly appreciate it. Gain nothing from it from, from it at all. It's just a matter of uh, you hitting that like button and subscribing so that my videos get passed around to other viewers such as yourself. It's free, so why not? Subscribe and smash the like button. Well, all right, like I said, this is the start of my fall season uh, of 2022. But man, these fish, man, I don't know. It just <laughs> That nor'easter that we just had, man, seemed to, uh, seemed to really accelerate things, at least the very first wave of fish. You know what I'm saying these fish did something that they don't normally do this early and um, unfortunately I wasn't able to capitalize on it so I said well you know hey might as well utilize one of my 4x4 permits hit the path and uh, you know visit one of my older spots on one of my favorite ties to fish it and see if I can get a bite going and I'm very happy that I did well, it just aired down to 20 PSI. Just put it in sand mode, I'm about to hit this path. Haven't been on this path in years, so I can't say years, maybe at least year and a half, two years. I gotta take it easy here because it flooded pretty bad. Wow. Yikes. I don't know how deep that is, but we're gonna try. Two inch tracks though, should help. Oh boy. Look at that. Yikes. Just keep it moving. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. I know this is deep here because I remember. Left side looks really deep. Oh, I remember this used to tear people's bumpers up. Not mine. <laughs> oh man. Whew. 
Whew, yeah, this was a hole. I remember this, gotta straddle the edge, get through it. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, my paint's gonna look real nice when this is done. Now I see a vehicle all the way up ahead. Hopefully they're not stuck. Hopefully they're not stuck. Okay, they're not stuck. Oh, what the hell is that? Foam fell. Reversing. What's going on here? I'm gonna wait and see if they make it. Cause that's a very dangerous area where they are. When it's dry, that sand there is usually nuts. But being that it's kind of moist, it should be a lot more manageable. I don't want to make sure he makes it through before I try to make it through. All right, looks good. He made it out. Let's get through this. Uh, left side looks a little more shallow. Shorter than I remember it. What's going on? Not sure what it is. I want to apologize for it being so dark. The GoPros are not the best at capturing footage at night. Um, but it was so bright outside, you really did not need a light on. And um, I kind of had a situation. I had about four guys fishing about 100 to 150 feet to my left. And I didn't really want to alert them to the fact that I have a fish because we've been fishing for some time and nobody's caught yet. Uh, but you really didn't need to turn on the light. That's how bright it was. Uh, not, not to get into your bag, you change the plug. So my goal was to try and land this fish in the dark and only turn on my light when I absolutely needed to turn it on. So this is what I'm doing here. And uh, it's working out for me so far, but in the end, uh, not so much. Even with all the wind, I am certain they did not hear my drag. Because later on in the night, they asked me if I had one. And I said yes, but I, I sensed the disbelief in their voice. Yeah, Now, I'm still kind of high up on the rock, so what I'm doing is grabbing my leader and trying to reach the fish, but I can't. So what I'll have to do is pull it to me. <laughs> my leader broke. Now that was easily a 15 pound fish, but I saw it at least. Broke the leader. This fish hit me pretty close. I 
time I can see it on top of the water, it's really trying to take me into the rocks. I'm not rubbing, but I see it going towards the rocks that I'm right next to. So all I'm trying to do at this point is keep pressure on the fish uh, away from the rocks, hopefully it'll swim out. I'm by myself at this point, so I'm okay with turning on my light. Uh, and also I'm not concerned about spooking the fish because it's close enough. After that last fish, my main focus is not losing this one due to poppage of my leader. So I have a 100 pound test leader at the moment. So now I'm just going to try to get close enough to the fish to grab it. Now as usual, GoPros distort the actual size of the fish, so here's a, a still shot and a very short video of the fish. Nice. Let's 
way you're coming up. Yeah. Ooh. All right. we got here nice 20 20 pounder going back I wonder if I should carry this one you know what no I'll let it go Other way, other way. There you go. All right. Bunkers all over the place, man. Fish blowing up. Just don't seem to be a lot of fish. Bunkers to the left. It's just to the left here, you know. Oh, they're coming in close now. There you go. Plenty of bunker was around. Just not so many fish on them. Uh, I saw only one fish come up on a boat and he had to put that back. You know, I basically very glad that my vehicle is lifted because if it wasn't lifted, I don't think I would have made it. It was that bad. I'm talking about the path. Uh, but hey, you know, this is why I do some of the things that I do. So I basically, you know, got there and um, started fishing around, you know, just poking bucktails around, poking other things around. Kind of had a wind in your face kind of situation that was somewhat undesirable but you know you may I made the best of it um, yeah I was able to get my first fish it was about a 15 pounder that I um, sort of lost I don't sort of I did I lost it my line popped just as I was pulling it up line decided to pop but hey I, I saw the fish so it was a nice fish you know one of my favorite gags this time of year and um, yeah so I continued on to fish didn't catch anything so I said let me go back to this spot and uh, caught a real nice 25 pounder with a bucktail and then followed by a nice 20 pounder very rewarding three fish night but you know I wanted to continue on into first light to see what I can get man Man, there's bunker everywhere, snagging, they didn't want that. Bunker, bunker was getting smashed by seemingly everything, man. Saw dolphins, even saw a thresher shark. But man, these, these, these bunker was getting blasted left, right, and center. Uh, but the bass seemed, I saw only one bass come up by one of the boats. Nice overfish. He threw it back, of course. And um, that was it. That's all the fish that I saw, but Man, these, these bunker was getting blasted everywhere, everywhere, all over the place. Was able to snag them, but wasn't able to feed anything to them. But that's how it goes sometimes, you know what I'm saying? First trip, happy I got that off my chest. Got some fish, so there's what it is. 
hopefully there'll be many more well all right well that's gonna wrap up this video I want to thank you guys for watching please continue to smash that like button subscribe hit that notification bell make sure it is on all so that you will get notified for when I come out with the next video don't know when that's gonna be but you know stay tuned to the channel man if you'd like me to make any types of videos you have any types of questions or concerns drop it in the comments below and I will see to it that I will answer all right so I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day and peace out.